is the Sam Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of the Pit Stop, where we are here to talk about sim racing on Friday mornings. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the new format. We're kind of getting up to speed with everything with the new format, trying to get more content out. And uh, the live pit stops have been reduced to just the one pre-recorded show on Friday so that we can cut the fat, cut the BS, get right to the news, get through the news. For those of you out there who want to know what's going on and aren't here for a long conversation, we're going to get through it all. All of the links to everything we're going to talk about on today's show are in the description here at YouTube. And of course, if you want to talk about any of the topics, any of the stories, any of the sim rigs that we see on the show, Show, you're going to want to tune in to Simpit Live on Twitch because immediately following the show, we will have the normal conversation and go through some stories and talk about them with you, the community, in greater detail. So, happy Friday to everybody out there. I hope you uh, have a great weekend plan. I sure do. Last week was our off week for me and my personal life of uh, sim racing, and all of the races, all the series that I run in were on hold last week. So, I got to do some fun stuff take it a little bit easy, and then we kick off the second half of the season uh, starting off tonight and this weekend. So lots of great racing. I'm going to talk about that towards the end of the show. Uh, beyond that, I, I do need to give a little bit of an apology, then we'll get right to the news. I, I've been a little under the weather this week. I I got a pinched nerve in my neck and under my shoulder blade, and, and it just it caused... Uh, uh, fatigue and nausea, nausea at a level that I've never really felt before, and it meant that I didn't get a lot of things done. I, I had a lot of B-roll to capture on the Next Level Racing Motion platform, and I've been mainly, mainly running in VR on that, and a combination of nausea beforehand and pitched nerves in the shoulder and and a, a motion platform in VR was a bad recipe. Anyway, I got very, very little done. Uh, other than I did put together and get my new 3D printer up and running. So I now own two Ender 5s. One's a Plus and one's a Pro. The Pro being a little bit smaller and the Plus being gigantic. Anyway, uh, one of the two is up and running, which means trophies are back being made and I'm having fun with my 3D printed world. So anyway, that's all that I've got for you there. Let's get into the news and talk about what's going on in sim racing. Uh, the eNASCAR Coca-Cola iRacing Series to crown their 2020 champion. That's right. The long season, the biggest prize, one of the biggest prizes in all of sim racing. Uh, what, 100000 to the winner? 300000 total prize pool. Uh, we have four drivers uh, locked into the championship. So Michael Conti in the last race secured his championship, the fourth season they're calling it in the eNASCAR Championship 4. He won at Texas, and with that win... Uh, with that win, Michael Conti actually makes it into the championship hunt. So, uh, the finals. The iRacing season will culminate at Virtual Homestead Miami Speedway on Monday, November 2nd. So that is just a few days from now. Monday, November 2nd is going to be the iRacing eNASCAR championship race. Four drivers have a shot at the championship. Those drivers being Michael Conti who drives the number eight JR Motorsports Chevrolet. He won at Texas. Ryan Lusa, the number 53 Williams Esport Ford. He apparently just got in on points. Nick Ottinger, the number 25 William Byron Esport Chevrolet. He won at Kansas. Uh, once we're into the championship battle, these are the winning drivers, by the way. That's just not one win for the season. And Bobby Zelensky, the number 83 Virtual Racing School VRS Chevrolet, won at Charlotte. Um, so those are the four drivers that we have, uh, all, one of those four guys, one of those four guys, Conti, Lusa, Ottinger, Zelensky, one of those four guys is going to win themselves a hundred thousand dollars. That is quite a year for sim racing. I gotta tell you. So congratulations. Tune in Monday, Monday, the second at 9 PM Eastern time. Uh, new, new fun, new fun to be had. I know a lot of you have driven the new Corvette C8R, the new mid-engine racing Corvette on iRacing. Uh, I did a, a show on its debut day, did a little bit of driving with it. Anyway, they are going to be doing the first ever Corvette C8R Championship Series starting off October 26th. So it's already underway. Uh, things are done on a weekly basis with iRacing, so you should still be able to participate. Anyway, can't get enough of the C8. Uh, get ready for the first ever championship series coming October 26. Don't miss your chance to qualify for a chance to win exclusive prizes. Uh, to click here to participate, so you do have to do a little extra here. 
to participate, click here to register with Chevrolet using your iRacing ID. I'm sure you guys, if you're an iRacer, you should know how to find your iRacing ID. Um, do I need to show you how to do that? And the email address linked to your account. So make sure you use the right email address, the one you use uh, for iRacing. Then head to Time Attack. Turn your lap with the Chevrolet Corvette C8 on Lime Rock Park. The time attack will be active between the 26th and November 15th with the top 40 drivers in the final standings to have an opportunity to compete in the Corvette C8R championship. Um, I think I'm going to have to make some runs. I think this, this, this could be our new time attack. This could be the new sim pit. Well, we crash an existing competition. Uh, maybe we need to have a little inner circle competition on this. I mean, some of us might be able to make top 40. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, we'll have to stream that over the weekend as well. So definitely going to do that. Uh, Lime Rock Park, right? Isn't that what they said? Lime Rock Park, time attack mode, Corvette C8. We have to register there. You know what? Let's copy that link and let's put it on our other browser for later. I'm going to do it. I encourage you to do the same. Scott Speed tops the IRX All-Star Invitational presented by Yokohama, Iowa. So they're doing those uh, invitational races with that really, really prestigious list of drivers. Anyway, uh, LASIK, Bucky LASIK finishes in third. Kevin Swindell, fourth. Uh, sorry, Connor. Connor Martell in second. Sage Karam finishing in fifth. So, uh, oh, a little carnage there. Scott Speed scoring 65 points. And we don't have any uh, points through. Okay, so after three races, Scott Speed leads the way. Connor Martell in second. Chris Atkinson in third. Uh, in addition to that, Johan Harth scores the IRX World Championship win at Iowa. So you've got the, the IRX World Rally Cross Championship and the Invitational. Um, and here's how things finish. Johan Harth winning the race. Mitchell DeJong in second. Rasmus Tuminen in third and after that uh these are the points john robertson with 93 leading the way johan harth in second with 80 and mitchell de jong in third with 73. uh let's see i think that's all uh just a few sales so it is that spooky halloween season time of year and uh we have a few different sales that are going on in lieu of the holiday uh halloween sale 50 percent off halloween steam sale 2020 so if you're looking to pick up r factor this is for r factor 2 in particular 50 percent off on the gt3 bundle for example track expansion 25 percent off uh Ritza bundle 50 percent off cart sim 50 so if you're looking for a new uh if you're looking to get in on r factor incredible sim if you haven't played it at 50% off on some items. That's a pretty good time to try it out. In addition to that, the VCO showing off some of the racing they had in their latest eSport competition. Nice move, they say. Let's check out this nice move. Let's see. Is he going to be an outside maneuver again? No, it's inside this time. The man has it all in his locker. And that's just another super clean move on Yunus Rabio. He's really got this down. And now Yoyovsky's looking to try and do the same on Simic's, but he is trying to be as wide as he can. It's going to be an outside maneuver for Yovsky. And this time it looks like he might be able to make it stick. It is going to be two right-handers to go and then a left-hander. Yes, he's made it work. He's up into four. Good stuff. Good stuff. Introducing the new Portland Trailblazers. All right. Yeah, whatever. We have another clip. Fighting for the podium. Oh. Oh. Oh! We already saw that. Okay. Uh, back to the garage. Man of the day. Erhan Jajowski wins the race. There it is. We saw the move that got him there. And bye from Portland. Round two. Oh, Halloween sale. We already talked about that. Uh, another episode of Rudy Van Buren. A couple video links here. Again, the links to everything we're talking about are in the description here at YouTube below. Uh, round four, the Porsche Carrera Cup is here. 
round one, two. Anyway, so some video action there. You can follow along through R Factor 2. Thank you, guys. Uh, Project Cars 3. This week in the Driving Seat blog, we look at the first expansion pack for Project Cars 3, the Formula E Champs DS to Cheetah. Exciting giveaway, and we share the love of the Porsche 917 with Alexander Schultz. So uh, there you go. And then we've teamed up with the awesome DS to Cheetah Formula E team to give away six keys for Project Cars 3. Fancy one? Join DS at Viber Community Today for more details. So if you want to be eligible to win one of six codes, uh, best version of Project Cars 3 is the free version, right? Uh, I think that's it from them. Dirt, check this milestone out. Dirt Rally 2.0 has now had 9 million drivers play the game. Today, Codemasters celebrates passing 9 million players who have taken to the driver's seat in Dirt Rally 2.0, the ultimate racing rally simulation. Uh, anyway, to celebrate the occasion, Codemasters looks at some significant stats created by the Dirt community. Uh, the number one... All right, so some cool stuff here. Let's look at their numbers. Um, 9 million drivers, as we stated. 1,579,000,000 kilometers, also known as 981 million miles. We are coming up on a billion miles driven by the players. By the 9 million drivers have driven almost a billion miles. Uh, you travel the world and completed 196 million stages, with New Zealand being the top-picked region. Favorite rally car to drive came up as the Mini Cooper S, followed by the Volkswagen Polo and the Volkswagen Golf. Look at VW kicking some ass there. And your favorite rally car, rally cross car. So the first was rally car. The favorite rally cross is the Audi S1 EKS, followed by the Volkswagen Volkswagen. Polo Polo. Uh, Subaru, all the way down in fourth in both. A little surprising there, to be honest with you. Anyway, congratulations to Codemasters, congratulations to Dirt, and congratulations to everybody in that community because those are huge, huge numbers. That's a massive accomplishment. Uh, now switching over to Dirt 5. If you bought the Amplified Edition, we are just one week away, uh, one week from playing. I still haven't pulled the trigger. I still haven't decided if I want to buy the Amplified Edition and play it early or if I want to hold out and save a little bit of money and be a little on the late side. Anyway, uh, those of you who have pre-ordered Dirt 5's Amplified Edition will be tearing it up this time next week. That was on the 27th they posted that. Anyway, a uh, link to the pre-order. So if you want to get in on that Amplified Edition, uh, November 6th. Reviewable keys available November 2nd. Uh... Oh, apparently I can send something in for a key mailer. I'm going to have to do this. Copy link. I'm going to have to get in on that, maybe. It's a little different than um, talking to their normal media people. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay. Anyway, uh, dirt review, ver dirt five review versions are gonna hit on the fifth, on the second. I'm sorry, and on the sixth is when the amplified edition will come out. And I think that's all we had to say about that. They did make a. Wasn't there another post? Uh, there, AMD showing off some stampede. They're doing a dirt. Five giveaway contest and a bag a copy of the game for launch feast your eyes on this gameplay then hit link in the post so if you link this video you could be eligible to win a copy of dirt five and why oh no it's wrc that i'm thinking of some videos of stampede all right that's all we have from there uh nascar heat five there was an october patch that came out on the 26th october uh dlc uh we're going to talk about that also Guess who's patched? Patched again. Yes, we're patched. Tell a friend. Today's patch for NASCAR Heat 5 includes the ability to run Cup Series and Truck Series at the latest free track that we added to the game, the Indy Road Course. We've also added the ability to add the Indy Road Course to a custom championship for any series. Uh, some paint schemes have been added as well. 
and that's all good for that in the chat there is the october dlc car pack now available for heat 5 and it's their biggest dlc yet with 49 cup series schemes 14 xfinity series schemes eight truck series schemes that's a whopping 71 new schemes included some of the cup throwbacks include boyer no newman wallace reddick hamlin and much more wow i 12 bucks are you kidding me 12 bucks for some paint schemes Wow. Someone should invent trading paints for NASCAR Heat. Put a stop to that right off the bat. Uh, but NASCAR Heat is on sale. You can get the NASCAR Heat. This is a ho another Halloween sale, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Steam Halloween sale is now live, or should we say undead. You'll find the scary low prices for NASCAR Heat 5, gold and standard editions, and even bigger discount on the season pass. 60% off the gold, 65% off the season pass, and you get that $12.99 DLC included. Uh, Forza, <laughs> so check this out. The one, the only, I'm going to start this from the beginning. This, uh, I don't even know what the hell this is. The one, the only, the Xbox Series X fridge giveaway. Follow and retweet XSX Fridge Sweeps for a chance to win the Xbox Series X Fridge. I would love to have that fridge, don't get me wrong, as I sit here laughing. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm going to have to enter it, though. <laughs> Here, I'm going to get the rules. Hoppy Link. We got a lot of homework after the show today. Here, look, there's an official sweepstakes. Series X fridge sweepstakes official rules. Yeah, I want to win that fridge. What the hell? Why not? I mean... Why not, right? <laughs> I think that's all. Uh, another bounty hunter event with Joseph Newgarten you can take part in. That's all we have from them. Uh, GT Sport, meant a little tiny post from them. The next 2020-2021 exhibition series begins November 25th. So we're just inside of a month away from the next big season in the FIA Gran Turismo Championships uh daily race will be available all that good stuff so anyway that's coming up more exciting stuff going on in addition to that uh gran turismo is congratulating uh four drivers who booked their spot at the e emea online regional finals that being the extra stage time no no emea is a region i don't know what that region is though sorry forgive me uh anyway uh maragalino took top spot uh, Blasan, here, let's get this bigger, Nick and Rodriguez. So here are your four finalists from the EMEA region. Um, I believe that's European, by the way. Uh, congratulations to the four drivers who booked their spot in the Americas online regional with top spot going to none other than Igor Fraga, uh, unbeatable Igor Fraga. Uh, Junkos Congretti. McMillan, is that Nick McMillan, I believe? And Pinnell are our other finalists from the North, Central, and South America regions. And then they have the qualifiers, but we don't have... Ah, there we go. Here we go. Here's the Asia and Oceania grouping. Dojo Racing Shun. Obviously, none of these guys have run in Gran Turismo. They had, you can tell who's been there by the guys they have pictures of. But anyway, Shun, Yu Kyo. Dylan Lindgren and Suki, I believe, are the four finalists from there. And Gran Turismo finals are back. Well, this is an older video, but this is what we were talking about. Things are now underway. Get, really getting heating up. Uh, WRC9. Uh, small erratum on our visual. The digital free upgrade from PS4 to PS5 will be available in the Americas starting November 12th, not December 8th. 
as previously shown. So they had previously shown that there was going to be a delay in that conversion. Is that what, what do you call that? Is that a conversion? I don't know. But anyway, um, please note if you did buy the PS4 version, it will go PS5 automatically on November 12th. Uh, Rita, Rita, a landmark release for Automobilista 2 is in the works, featuring very exciting new content and many core game improvements. Read all about it in our October development update, which we're going to take a look at real quick. But uh, great to see more coming out of Automobilista 2. And they're talking about their progress. Premium GT3 and GT4 cars arrive for AMS 2. Those are the hot. That, those are the hot cars right now, aren't they? Think about GT3, GT4. Uh, they are in every main sim I can think of. Uh, they're going to have the Porsche Cayman, the Camaro, the McLaren, and Green Hell. Uh, livery customization, force feedback upgrade, physics revisions, AI development, 3D animations, audio, championship mode. I mean, it sounds like every aspect of Automobilista 2 is getting touched upon in this, as they put it, let's use their words, a landmark release. So I, I don't I didn't see a date. I don't see an exact date. They did call it the October update though. Um I don't see a date. But uh yeah, this is coming soon. So good good stuff coming out of Automobilista. Wonderful. Uh also on sale, Halloween spooky sale, Halloween race room, twenty percent discount on various cars and track packs. And you can do that through the race room store, including VRP packages are on sale as well. So a little bit of sale there, money to be saved. You want to get into that. Uh, McLaren, been a while since they posted much, but now they're posting. Fancy a race and chat with Lando Norris? You want to you wanna be buddies with Lando Norris? Hang out and chat with him? Maybe get him to call you on your birthday? Their friends at Hilton Honors are giving you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to line up on the grid alongside Lando at on Formula One game. To be in a chance... Click the link below, TNS, TNCs, sorry, right here. And then if you clo click that, Terms and Conditions, that's what TNCs are. Look at all these contests we have to enter. Do I have to enter this one too? Um, anyway, if you want to go race and hang out with Lando, you're just going to follow that link. Got it there in the description show below. Uh, this is from Euro Truck, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, Iberia, Iconic Landmarks. When creating new areas in an upcoming DLC, landmark models play an important role. I agree 100%. Anyway, we have some shots of landmarks in Iberia for Euro Truck 2. Um, and it will be on there. Don't forget to add Iberia to Euro Truck Simulator Steam wish list, which really helps support us in our upcoming releases. So there you go. Iberia coming. So much going on. Uh, Czech and Slovak Games Week Steam Sale. So there's a whole article talking about how uh, this group kind of formulated. And it was 102 years ago that Czechoslovakia declared its independence. A lot of games that you play, whether you know it or not, might be coming from Czech or Slovakian regions of our world. They've really been a super tech upcoming area, including Euro Truck Simulator. Um, so there is a huge sale going on from all of the developers. I think they mentioned 52 developers from that region on Steam, all conducting sales right now. I believe through the 15th, I think I read. I read this earlier. I think it was through the 15th that the sale is going on. Uh, oh, no. Sale only runs till November 2nd, you guys. So it's only a couple more days, three days. Um, but you might want to check out what games. I mean, look at this. Euro Truck Simulator. Five bucks. I gotta tell you, even if you only played it for a few hours, Euro Truck Simulator is worth so much more than five dollars. I mean, if you're into trucking, it's the best truck sim there is, hands down. End of story. No competition. It is a fantastic simulation. And and it, 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 look at this: two hundred sixty thousand, two hundred sixty thousand overwhelmingly positive uh, opinions on. Steam, by the way, seventy-five percent off, four ninety-nine for uh, Euro Truck. Autom uh, uh, American Truck will be on sale as well, as it's made from a uh, Czechoslovakian developer. 
Uh, Forza Note Motorsport 7, Xbox Game Pass debut is causing problems for longtime players. Um, so apparently there's a problem going on there. That's all I know about it. But if you are playing Xbox uh, Game Pass, you might be having some issues. And I'm assuming that since Game Rant is all over the story, I'm hoping that Turn 10 is all over the fix. Wow, we're getting towards the end of the show, you guys. Wow, I had no idea. Uh, best ad out. I, I saw this on my phone. It came up. And uh, a few weeks ago, we had talked about it. It might have been a month ago. Mario Kart Live, this like total like VR, uh, AR, VR game playing with the the Nintendo thingy. I can't remember what it's called all of a sudden. Uh, but check out this video. I believe it's actually by the guys who make this sim looking at where it's being filmed. But... Um, it was called The Best Dad Ever. Hooks up Mario Kart Live, Home Circuit to Full Motion Sim. Force Dynamics, yeah. This is playing in the shop. You know what I'm talking about? We talked about this awesomeness. I gotta play this. I wish I had a Switch. I'm not going to buy a Switch just to play this, but man, I really would love to do this. What do you think? Do you wish your dad had done this for you? <laughs> it's so awesome. Bye-bye. Look at the oil slick on the... Oh, man. I really wish this had existed when my brother and I used to play, like, game games against each other. Bye! All right, you're going to want to check the video out for yourself. Of course, the link is in the description of the show below. Ooh, my green screen's going all funny today. I'm going to have to work on my lighting again. I cannot believe how much attention a studio takes. Uh, all right, a few sim rigs, talk about some sim pit racing, and then we're going to bring the show to a, an end and kick the weekend off in fine style. Uh, this one, and, and some interesting rigs today, by the way. So this, my league chipped in and bought me a setup as a baby shower gift coming from a DFGT. Uh, what I loved about this, look at this combination. I call this a Deathmobile Profile Hybrid. Uh, he's using some 80-20 profile stacked up on 2 by 4s using a, uh, some sort of a desk or something next to him. Got that gigantic water bottle. Jeez, that guy drinks a lot of water. Good for you. Anyway, uh, cool setup. His friends pitched in and bought it for him. Wouldn't you like to have friends like that? Uh, then we got this one. New house, new corner. At first, I was like, wait, where's the sim rig? I don't see a sim rig. I see this clean desk. And then I look, oh, wait, because it's back in the back corner there got a track racer with curved monitors back in the corner nice looking setup there by this dude really clean setup look at how clean everything is i don't even see the computers where are the computers oh there's one nice work though very clean uh who who posted this was by uh c or orza c orza posted that the first one by the way is posted by megawatts megawatts then we got this one, and you know why I picked this picture. There was nothing that exciting about the rig. I mean, it's a cool rig. I, I Actually, I take that back. i sorry. X U Ren. I'm sorry. There is something very exciting about your rig. It says you're in a placey challenge, which I totally respect and love. But look, he's got the glass desk, slick-looking computer, and look at the big dog. Oh, look at that big dog. I hope you live in a cold area. I really do. What is that? Oh, Canon. Is that a printer? I don't know. We're going to do the voyeuristic stuff uh, over on Simpit Live Twitch. That's where we'll talk in depth about all the stories we talked about today. It's going to be coming up immediately following the show. As soon as this show over is over, I will be live on Simpit Live to talk about all the topics. So if there's anything in the news that you think needed more discussion, that is when and where we're going to handle that. Um, so be sure to tune in over there immediately. Uh, also, no, check it out. I remember this. The Fanatic... Uh, the Forza, the original Forza Porsche style Forza wheel. This was a really good wheel. This was a really good wheel at the time. Um, 
really free moving, good force feedback. I, I would still rock that wheel. Uh, then look at this. Zirian Slayer. Now, I am jealous. I've heard people tell me that projectors are really hot. So maybe that wouldn't be that great for me in my studio. Also, lighting is so critical. And I have to control my lighting for showing the products that I'm reviewing, not the Sims. Why is my green screen so messed up? That really upsets me. I had that dialed in. I even moved. What is up with that? There's no reason. Nothing has changed. Sorry, you guys. Anyway, nice uh, projection monitor set up here with the uh, foldable FGT light. Put it away when you don't need it. And that was posted by Zirian Slayer. And the last rig, not a lot of rigs today, uh, by Cap123VRS. And I thought this was a really slick looking rig. He's got it there in the corner. He's got his extra wheel. He's got his formula mounted. He's got the shifter, the handbrake. Nice looking FGT on casters, by the way, including that giant monitor. This whole rig is on casters. So we can just slide it out of the room if friends come over. You can see this uh, nice style, by the way. You can just tell whoever owns this rig has some style with their decor and their finishing in the house. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. And then lastly, I want to finish with my rig. I don't show my rig nearly as much as you would think. I don't know why. Uh, I guess you see it every day. You just don't see it in the same context that most other people uh, see it in. Uh, you see it looking at me this way or you see me racing. Anyway, this is my rig, believe it or not. And my rig consists of two computers, four monitors, two keyboards, two mice, two microphones, two stream decks, wheel, pedals, shifter, handbrake, and button box. All of that built onto one R seat. The whole thing's on platform, the whole thing's on casters, and everything you see there will slide around my entire room. It's taken a lot of work to get there. I talk about how rigs are always evolving. It was just last weekend that I installed that whole center console with this button box, the dual stream decks, and the shifter and handbrake. It means it's really hard to activate my mice and keyboard. They just keep getting further pushed away. Uh, but that is my current rig. That is how I stream. That is how I race, and I love my rig. I want to thank RC for the S1 chassis. I love my chassis. It is such a rock solid, awesome chassis. I want to thank Sim Experience for my AccuForce wheel because I got to tell you, that wheel has changed my thoughts on steering wheels and what you can get out of a steering wheel. And I want to thank Rickmotech because if it weren't for that hydraulic brake on those Rickmotech pedals, I don't think I'd be half the sim racer that I am. So I want to thank my sponsors, Sim Experience, Rickmotech, and R Seat. I want to thank them all for helping me equip this rig. And uh, it, it's, you know, been 10 years in the making. I mean, you look, those are probably 10 year old monitors on the bottom. That's probably a 15 year old monitor on top. But uh, it's come a long way, and I'm very, very proud of my rig. All right, let's talk about some racing. Sim Pit Dirt Rally League finished up another week. I, now that I have this handbrake and sequential shifter, I'm going to crash that party. Look at this. We have 18 guys participating in the Sim Pit Dirt Rally League. That is a great turnout for a post-your-lap-time league like that, a leaderboard-type league. So I want to just congratulate all of you guys for taking part. That is an, an impressive impressive group anyway randy savage wins again i believe you won last week didn't you david climber in second no war in third less mom you finished in fourth dave blair i see you in sixth booth all the way up to seventh booth getting a good run anyway i see a lot of my good friends on that list and i'm gonna join them next week i do hope uh so that is the leaderboard there in that and then like i said we had an off week last week in the simpit oval arca league Tonight, we'll be back at Five Flags, back to the little tracks. Five Flags Speedway tonight, Full Moon Hollows Eve race at Five Flags. Should be pretty exciting. I'll be on the air at about 5 o'clock when we get under practice. 6 o'clock for qualifying and racing. And going into tonight's race, David Clymer leading with a 10-point margin over previous champion Billy Strange, Billy Strange with 159 points, who's only three points ahead of Four-time champion Mark Michkowski, climber leading both of our defending champions in that series as we head into Five Flags and start off the second half of our season. And then on our road side, we have the Simpit LMP2 Championship. We also were off last week. 
but this week we are back at it. That'll be Sunday morning, 10 a.m. practice, 11 uh, a.m. for, and that's all Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. for qualifying and race at Suzuka. Randall White takes a pretty good lead into Suzuka over Anthony Morano Jr. in second, Gonzalo Perone in third. And again, that race is on Sunday. And then I'm mentioning the Simpit Patron Group. Uh, the Simpit Patron Group, this is a group that they're there just to really support the show. Uh, this group, they they support me. They support the Simpit. They make the Simpit can thrive, make sure the Simpit can thrive. Beginning, I mentioned getting a new 3D printer to fix my broken one. That funding only happens because of the Simpit Patron Group. Uh, every month, I hold a Simpit Patron Appreciation Race. I give away a custom built by me with a 3D printer trophy. We're going to be giving one of those away tomorrow. It's always the final Saturday of the month. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing a Seto Corsa Competizione once again. And we're going to do that race on Saturday morning, 10 a.m. practice, 11 a.m. qualifying. <coughs> and this week, I'm going to be trying to broadcast my first hosted a Seto Corsa Competizione race hosted by me. So that will be tomorrow, actually. If you want information on joining our patron group, just go to patron.com forward slash the simpit. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's show. Perfect way for me to get the weekend grooving. Had a rough week, but things are feeling better today. Lots of work to do in the studio. Got to get caught up over the weekend so we can get that content coming to make up for not giving you guys live pit stops Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I will be back next Friday with the next edition of the Pit Stop. We will get caught up on what has happened between now and next week in sim racing. Get out there. Do some sim racing. Watch those NASCAR iRacing Championships coming up on the second that's going to be exciting and be sure to send me shots of your rigs send me results of any leagues or anything if you go post a time in that corvette challenge that time trial challenge send me a screenshot so i can show everybody out here how you did anyway get out there do some sim racing have yourselves a great weekend this is the sim pit i'm sean cole and i'll see you on the track